I want to wait to see what mom says first. I need to court direct this for the first one at least because I'm getting yelled at because I still have it. Okay, we'll, we'll do whatever you need, you know? On which, on who? That was, I don't know the number of things we saw. I don't think we took many people in, did we? Jones. Oh, 5001. I only revoked the, the, the old case. I left the new cases in, so the old case is at 5001. All right, Judge Page 8, Gaskin, three bonds. God, we never see this. 10,003. I'm, yeah. And I have to do a bail order, but yeah, 10,003. Sure. Yes, there is a way because imagine, you know, when you have a complaining witness in like a murder case that's scared that you want, there's, there is a way. I don't know how, but there, yes, there is a way that you can do it perhaps under seal as well. That may be an issue, like a, like a subpoena under seal so that everybody can't see the address, you know, try that. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Close. Okay. All right, the next one is page 10. Herrera. What else is here? He is tested yesterday. Oh, is that here? Herrera? Oh, is, is he the trial case? Twenty-five oh one on top of ten. I, I don't. 
Who is your lawyer, sir? You mean Hatton? Judge Hatton. Do you have any paperwork with you, a cause number? Uh, I'll, we'll, you, I can look them up and see. Come on up. We'll have you go speak to Victoria. Just ready for the next one, Judge? Yeah. Page 16, Ortiz. <laughs> Judge? Hunter. Hi. Sorry, I uh, forgot about a case. Apparently, <laughs> I have uh, Mr. Reuben. Reuben is the last name? Yes, Judge. Uh, it's only 117 days old. Do you want just a normal uh, reset? Yes, Judge. The, the state had just offered a PTI. I need to communicate that to my client. Okay, wh what do you want to... We'll just give you a reset. Then do you, are you having trouble getting a hold of the client? No, I, I just I just need to contact him and let him know about the offer. Go for it. We'll um, just email Victoria and then she can get you a date, whatever you want. Sounds good, Judge. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Hunter. Top of 21. Oh, is discovery complete? Yeah, there's a PTI offer and what's discovery is complete. What's the PTI? A 90 day. Let me see. The it's it's are, through environmental. Yeah, it's environmental. Uh, mm -hmm. So do you think you guys are going to take it? Most likely. Okay. I just need to communicate it with you. Yeah. Them. We'll just give you a normal reset, huh? How's that sounds good. 16 or the 19th? 19th work. Okay, got it. All righty, thank you. Okay, all. Sorry have fun. About, sorry about that. No, you're good. We're glad that you came back. All right. All right Bye. Judge, uh, just to clear up for Mr. Mancias, so we took him into custody and he bonded out. His attorney set him for 12 12, but his bond paperwork says 1115. And we can put them on 12-12 unless you want to amend the bond conditions. Yeah, what's the cause number? It Please. is 25077158 and it's three cases. Yeah, we need bond condition. So, but when he bonded out, did the paperwork have today's date? Uh, sureties, the surety bonds are uh, imaged and they have 1115 on them. Okay, so just we'll have him come back because he doesn't have a lawyer. So uh, I, we'll just have him come back Friday and we'll do it with Friday that way because he needs his lawyer here. I don't want to do anything without his lawyer here, you know? Um, Snyder? Yes. Uh, SFBF tomorrow. Judge. Tell me. Okay. Jillian, you ready? Okay, tell me. 
So I just spoke to the complaining. You got a hold of her. Yes, I got a hold Yay. of her. Um, she's she's his mother. She is extreme. She was extremely distraught on the phone. She said that the defendant is mentally disabled. He has a lot of conditions, and he was on. Um, he was having. He has these episodes. I didn't get a quite a great understanding of what episodes is, but she had called his therapist or his psychiatrist and he, she, the shrink instructed the complaining witness to get him transported to Cypress Creek. The defend, this complainant called the police in order to try to get their help in transporting him to the hospital because she couldn't get a handle of it. So she says it was never an assault in progress call and not one that she intended to make. Um, she said when the police asked if he would, if the defendant was hurting her, she said no. So she is very distraught as to why this was filed. Um, Did an assault occur? She says that when he's having episodes, he flares his arms around and sometimes it could strike her, but it's not like intentional is what she said. And she says that, she said she's not afraid of her son. She is af upset that this happened when they were supposed to help him. She she was just very distraught, Judge. And I don't. It have really any makes me mad how people ask for help and then, you know, instead of taking someone or helping someone into a facility, they just arrest because it's easier to arrest. We've literally so, set up set it up set up a system now to where it's, it's just as easy to not arrest them and they still the hell is, what, I, I don't understand people. I, I can mean, see they, if they didn't take him to Cypress Creek, they took him to wherever the designated location is, but there's a whole, like, odd, they, it's just as simple now to take them where they need to go. No, I, I agree, Judge. I, I don't need know. to start holding people accountable. Yeah. All occurred. Judge, this was just Right, fair. because we know a lot of people recant, but do you have any evidence that that one occurred. I don't have anything right now, Judge. It was only filed three days ago. It wasn't even set for arraignment until it was set. Yeah, um, it's not even set until the 18th for arraignment. So I, I really don't have anything besides the offense report right now. So I can't look at body cam and see if she made any statements on scene. All I have is this red. Will you read to me the dims again? I guess let's. You want me to read the dims, Judge? Yeah. Or yes. Whatever you got to detail. I have a. I mean, I have the case jacket. Do it. Okay. Please. On November 10th of 2024, officers were dispatched to a residence in Harris County, Texas. Upon contact with the complainant, the complainant stated that the defendant, her son, and the defendant's friend had broken a window to get inside the night before. The complainant stated she woke the defendant up and told his friend to, had to, told him his friend had to leave. The complainant stated that she questioned the defendant about her missing prescribed oxycodone and the defendant became irate and the defendant struck the complainant with an open left palm across the right side of her face. Causing okay, pain. all right, so mom says that this happened? This is, uh, yeah, according to the Dems, but she told me something completely different on the phone. Michael, what do you think? She's her candidate. Is this a bond? Are you approaching a bond condition? No. No. Oh, okay. PC? Just on PC. PC. Okay. Ultimately, what's happening is she called the police in an effort to get mental health help. But what ended up happening is they just took him to jail. Now, she allegedly does say that assaultive behavior did occur. But now she's saying something completely. Then they'll recant the second someone goes to jail. They want them out of the house to be safe because they're in danger at the time. And then when they realize the person actually went to jail and is being held accountable, they call us and tell us, well, nothing happened. I think at this point, I mean, I know, I know that time to watch the body cam and listen to the 911. But I think what she said at the scene is what we need to go off of based on PC. And what she's saying to yeah. us in the rip call. We need to evaluate the case at that point. But what's in the offense report, which she told police at the scene, should judge how we evaluate PC for now. Do you want to, and I was going to say, I, I would disagree. It's not your run of the mill uh, recanting because the first phone call that was made was to the, his psychiatrist. And his psychiatrist says, call the police so they can transfer him to the mental health hospital. 
And so that's what she did based on the advice of his doctor. And so that's according to what she told me, Judge, that she called the shrink. Well, she called the person a shrink. So I don't know if it was a therapist or a psychiatrist, which is why I'm saying shrink. Um, she told me that she called them first. But again, that's going off of her word. And if she's recanting I, now, I don't I'm, know how much. I, I think that for now, I'm going to find it. OK, but I guess. Judge, in lieu of any drug testing right now, I mean, he can go today. But as far as like resetting him for tomorrow or Friday, um, he is Come up, be, Mr. Westbrook. He is supposed to be checking in today, as was the plan last week. Uh, is that okay with the court? I'll get the proof that he's checked in. He, they've got a bed ready for him, and he's supposed to be going in today to the hospital. Will you? I'd like to test you real quick because I just want to know what's in your system. Will you go to the hospital afterwards? I think I think it's it may be a good idea. You know. Your life is valuable. You have only one. When you take a catastrophic move where it's you you you, you harm, it's something it's not like target you can return it. You can't there's some things that you just can't come back from. If you have patience, then anything can be achieved. So is to have you leave better than you came. And if you give us time and be patient we can help you with that. I have all kinds of resources, have all kinds of things at our disposal to help you. All you have to do are two things, come back and stay in touch with Jillian. She's great. She will help you with whatever you need. She has a direct line to me that she can always call me. If you need anything, we have resources to help you out, but you got to stay in touch with us. And I think that that's a good call. If you make it down there, let me test you real quick. I'm not going to have you come back. Just go directly there to the Cyprus place right after. As long as we know that you're there, I, I'm not going to revoke your bond. We will let you just take time that you need to go do what you need to do. But I got to know that you're there. Sure. If I don't know that you're there and I think you're out monkey business and not doing what you're supposed to be doing, I'll issue a warrant. I don't want to have to do that. So just please stay in contact with us. Do what you say you're going to do and good things are going to happen. I promise. Sure. You can always get a hold of us. If you ever need anything, just come back here as well. We're always willing to help you with whatever you need. Do you have any questions? Okay. Um, let's set it off a week. I don't want to do a long one just to make sure that we stay kind of close with Mr. Westbrook. You okay. know, She'll give you her number so that you can always get a hold of her. Okay. All right. But we'll also take care of costs. You won't have to pay for anything. So don't worry about the money. All you got to do is show up and stay in touch with Jillian. Yes, All right. So uh, quick question. When I do get out of the hospital, just let her know that I am getting out of the hospital quick. So what happens is usually when you check in, we'll get a rough kind of figure for how long you'll be there. I, I don't know. It could be a day. It could be two days. The idea is to get you as the best way you can. And it may take a day or two. It may take a week. I don't know. But stick with it. Yes, sir. You know, take your time. Rome wasn't built in a day. 